Hello Vegas, let's do this. <laughs> Hello, 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 I'm Laura Laura and today I thought that I would film a huge haul as I haven't filmed a haul in ages um, and I have accumulated a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna get on with it. First I'm gonna start with like beauty and hair and everything then I'll get onto the clothes and I'll put a time on the screen now for if you just want to see the clothes then you can just get straight to there so that's on the screen now. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the Solar Powder by Soap and Glory. Um, I picked this up, I've been getting this stuff for the past couple of months, so um, if you watch my weekly vlogs then you'll know that I picked this up I think two or three weeks ago. I realised, I went to go and get it, searched the whole shop for it and then realised that um, it's the old packaging, but um, I got it anyway, it was the last one in the shop. Um, it always seems to be sold out and it's sold out online so I had to get it. So yeah, it's just really nice. Um, dual yeah, highlighter bronzer but I usually just swirl them together if I want a bit more lighter I put more of the lighter side if I want darker I do more of the darker side um, the next thing also from Soap and Glory is the Super Cat Liner I've used this but then when I did it to be fair it was a hot day but I ended up with it on my eyelid like above here just from it rubbing off so I'm not very impressed by it but um, I do like the packaging and it is easy to apply I also picked that up um, another Soap and Glory product that I bought was the Brow Archery Brow Brow Tint and Precision Precision Shaping Pencil in um, Brownie Points. This is a repurchase. Um, if you watch my empties video, you will know that I've nearly finished my other one. Um, yeah, so I really like this anyway. Got it on my brows today. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to be quick because I know I've got a lot of stuff to get through and I don't want you to get bored. <laughs> the next thing is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in 001 Transparent. Um, Tanya Burr always goes on about this um, and it's so affordable. I think it's three, four ninety-nine. Um, it's just a really good powder. You know some you apply and you don't feel like you've applied anything. Um, whereas this you can definitely tell. You've got to make sure you do buff it in though, um, otherwise it does get a bit cakey. The next thing that I've also bought is the Too Faced, what on earth is that? Is that foundation? There's some, something encrusted in this. Um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, it's really, I love the packaging, it's heavy, it's pink, love it. Um, but it's just not a great mascara, really not been very impressed by it. For £19. I'm definitely gonna go get something else next time. Way repurchase this, which was a surprise because I know pretty much every YouTuber that uses this, I watch raves about it, but I really, really haven't gone with it very well. It's a really wet formula and I find that it always crumbles under my eye, so I end up looking like I've got a black eye most days that I wear this. But it was 19 pounds, so I feel like I have to use it. <laughs> right, now onto hair. I bought the John Frieda Beach Blonde Kelp Help. Um, deep conditioning mask and it just comes in a cute um, blue tub like this and what does it smell like? Oh, it smells quite, it's really fresh and reminds me, it does remind me of the sea, I guess kelp help, um, kelp is seaweed for those that didn't know, um, deep sea therapy for dehydrated damaged hair and I used this at my dad's and I had to buy it for myself because it was so good, it makes my hair feel amazing after the first wash. I also used the um, Aussie deep conditioning three minute mask and um, I find that it's, I need to be prepared because I need to have washed my hair for like on the second wash I start feeling that the mask is working whereas this on the first wash is really good and I don't have um, bleached blonde hair but it just makes my hair feel amazing so when I have a feeling that if you dye your hair and it's dry this will work wonders for you, it will be so good. The next thing is the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, pretty much every YouTuber, again I, I know that, um, well every YouTuber that I watch raves about this, um, it is a really good cleanser especially for removing makeup, it is amazing. Um, yeah, but it is quite pricey for what it is, but I think it's going to last me quite a long time because I just use one pump and it manages to do my whole face. But if I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup, I usually have to apply a little bit more and then try and wipe it all off. The next thing is the Qtex Nourishing Nail Polish Remover. Um, if you watched my um, weekly vlog, 
what is going on out there? <laughs> um, if you watch my fourth weekly vlog, you'll know that I did drop a cotton bud in this. <laughs> so it's floating around in there, you probably can't see it. Um, yeah, anyway, um, just a nail varnish remover. It's meant to be really good and it smells so good. You know like most nail varnish removers smell like chemicals. It oh, does smell like chemicals like that. But on your nails it smells like almond and really, really nice. And it's for weak nails because I find that most nail varnish removers that I use, they um, make my nails really dry and horrible. So I would recommend the Q-Tex one. I think they've got quite a few other ones but um, nourishing because my nails are really dry. Right, I got through that very quickly. I'm surprised by myself. Um, I, let's get on to clothing. Oh no, I've forgotten something that's in my it's hanging in my wardrobe, but I got don't want to go out of focus. Okay, I'll get it in the end. Um, right, the first thing is my Topshop Jamie jeans. Now, if you saw my favourites, you'll know that I've been loving these, wearing these most days. Um, super high waisted black skinnies, and oh, they're just comfy, stretchy. If you need stretch, oh. The light's gone. Um, I just love them. They're just so comfortable. Sorry, they're talking outside my door. If you can hear them. Um, and they're long enough from the tall range, which is amazing. <laughs> I struggle so much with jeans. Um, they are £40. They're a bit pricey, but I think they're definitely worth it. I'm going to try and get them in the blue as well. Right, denim. Denim is quite a big theme of this, actually. Um, next is my denim A-line skirt from ASOS, which was around, I think it's £28. Um, oh, I love it. I've been wearing this so much as well. I'm, I'm actually quite silly because I should have put this in my favourites as well. Um, loving it with nearly every t-shirt that I own, <laughs> um, whether it's cropped or I tuck it in. Leggings, bare legs, tights, anything. I just love wearing this. Um, honestly, my, this is from the tall range as well, actually, so that it wasn't too short on me. Um, I would definitely recommend getting one of these skirts if you've got a bit, if you do have quite a thin waist and you want a bit more shape, I think. And it can suit most people, but I don't know, actually being honest, if it would suit shorter people. It just might swamp them a bit unless you get it from the petite range, of course. Um, am I in focus? Yeah. Unless you get it from the petite range, of course. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this skirt. It's so comfortable as well. Um, it's got a bit of give in it as well. Um, yeah, so this is from ASOS. I think I did say that though. Um, actually, I purchased the next item, which is this crop top from Topshop with my black jeans. Um, but I haven't worn them together. Um, but anyway, this is just a crop top and it's got daisy detailing all around the hems. And oh, it's just so gorgeous. I love it. And I've noticed you can get it in, in the petite range as well. Um, I don't know about the tall range, I haven't checked. Um, but yeah, this is such a nice t-shirt. You can also get it in plain white with the daisy detailing I noticed, which is really pretty as well. I just like the nautical sort of theme of this. Um, I think this is around £25. Um, yeah, from Topshop. Also from Topshop, it's everything from Topshop, um, is this t-shirt, which I also showed in my weekly vlog. If you want to keep more updated than having stuff from two months ago and also from last week, watch my weekly vlogs. Um, yeah, so it's just this grey t-shirt with this detailing, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, oh, it smells really nice. Mmm. Um, yeah, it's just such a pretty t-shirt. Um, I do notice actually that I do get my hair caught in it though when I've got my hair done wearing it. Uh, yeah. Oh, this was from Topshop Tool. I might have it in the regular as well, if not, I'm sorry. Okay, um, the next thing is this plain black skirt from Primark, which was around five pounds, I think. It might have been exactly five pounds. Yeah, just a plain black, like, um, tube tight skirt. Um, yeah, I mean, I think for basics, Primark is really good for that. Um, like, for how can you tell the difference between a five pound plain black skirt and like a 30 pound plain black skirt? I personally can't. Don't know about anyone else. Well done if you can. <laughs> okay, the next thing is a t-shirt from New Look, which is just a plain blue and it's got a cute little pocket there. Can you see? No, it's not showing up. Let's try and do this better. Um, there, there we go. There's a pocket. Um, it's got, uh, it's not that low a neckline. I know it looks like it, but it sits quite nice and high because I don't really like low necklines. Um, 
yeah and I've actually also purchased this in grey because I love it so much I just find that it fits nicely and it's so cheap as well I think they're around eight pounds each which is so good and they're so soft um, yeah <laughs> love that I don't actually know where my grey one is in the wash probably um, the next thing I'm actually modeling it <laughs> is this um, striped t-shirt it's quite long from Brandy Melville and I think it was around 20 pounds 18 pounds maybe um, and it's just really comfy really soft um, I love it I picked it up in the Chelsea store I don't know if they're online actually I think they are I'll have to check and if they are um, obviously links to everything in the description down below um, gosh I'm gonna have a lot to link <laughs> um, I'm just going, gonna go and grab the last thing and the next well next and last thing is my denim <laughs> Levi's jacket oh it's just so beautiful um i actually got this from the store that i was working at um at the llama tree if you watched that vlog or if you knew that from one of my vlogs um it's just uh what what do they call it just a levi's jacket i don't really know um it's an extra large because i wanted it baggy and it's the men's one and it is huge on me it can look a bit like a dress um but oh I've just worn it so much and it's so easy just to throw on over anything apart from denim because double denim <laughs> um, yeah and it's just I don't know I just love it so nice um, I think it's such a staple thing to have a denim jacket um, Levi's as well I think most people will have heard of um, Levi's denim and everything so it's quite cool to have one um, I've been coveting one for ages and just never found one that was either big enough across my shoulders from the women's or small enough in the men's that didn't look too big um, so I saw this and I put it on and fell in love and I wore it the whole time I think um, make sure you check out my fashion Instagram actually I uploaded some photos from there from the llama tree of me my outfits and um I think most of the time I was wearing it either around my waist or on my arms. Sorry, I'm just doing the buttons up while I'm talking. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love this. I would honestly recommend getting a denim jacket if you don't own one, whether it's cropped or full length. I just love them and I think they look amazing. <laughs> Anyway, that was the last thing in this haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a really nice day and enjoying the summer. If you have the summer off, if you're working, I apologize. We all need to work sometimes. <laughs> um, like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you always do. Make sure you check out my other vlogs, my other videos, links in the description. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.